Today we are going to see how we can import some gold prices using our script into Power BI and then try to create a line chart. And I'll show you um, a problem which arises when you are actually having a date field. So let's get started. So the first of all, I'm going to use an R script to import some gold data using an online facility. So here is the code. If you're not using R programming or if you're not interested in that, you can simply ignore that. I'm just importing some data into Power BI so that we can create a line chart. So I'm just using this script. We have plenty of R tutorials if you're interested in R programming. So here, here we go. I have a library called QuantMod and I'm actually using the gold prices for the last 180 days. It's a daily gold price. Okay, let's quickly run this script so that we can load the data. So remember that the main problem which we are trying to solve is how to handle dates when plotting a line command. So here we have the data, price, and the dates. Now if we get the data into our system on the right hand side, here we go, we have DF and it has date and the price. So you can see that there's a date hierarchy there and then there is a price which is getting aggregated. So I'm going to say don't aggregate or don't summarize it for the time being so that and you can see that the sigma sign in front of the price is gone. So with that data, let's try to plot a line chart. So the, with line chart, I'm going to drag the, the date and the price. Date on the x-axis and on the y-axis we have the price. But you can see that the date has a hierarchy there. We have year, quarter, month and day. So what is that? So I've tried to put a date day there just to, hoping that it will give me a, a line chart. But see, the date is the day is different from date. Day is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 31. So it has basically not handled it the way I wanted because I wanted to show the price of the of the gold based on each individual date. So to solve that problem, there are many ways to do that. But the way I'm showing today is how to handle it using the dex command. So all I'm going to do is basically try to make a copy of the, of the date. So it's, it's nothing but having another column based on the, the date which we have. So now we have a new data column called date2 and which displays the date. So I'm going to change this date to text field. So it's not a date anymore. So Power BI doesn't treat this as a date. It's just going to treat this as a, a text data type. So that's the column date2 based on date one. Okay, so let's go further. I can also ensure that this date two column is actually sorted by the date command or the date column, which is basically a proper date. So that's also important. Otherwise your dates are going to get kind of sorted in a different way. Okay, now let's create a new chart, a line chart. So now I've put the date2 command on the x-axis and on the y-axis I'm going to put the price. And you can see that it has actually automatically taken as a count of uh, price, but we don't want the count of price, we want the sum of the price. And remember, there is only one observation for each day or the date. That means even if we have the sum there, it's not going to affect it because it's only one observation. Had you got two observations for the same date, then you would be in trouble because then it will simply double it up because it will sum up the value for each date. This is the aggregation based on the group, uh, which is the date two field. But in this case, we are okay because we just have one observation for each day. This is the gold prices, daily gold prices. So here we got a, a good chart. So the moral of the story in this case was that we had a date field which was being treated by Power BI on its own as, as a hierarchy also, which is useful when we're aggregating the data, like for yearly data, quarterly values, for the sales, monthly value, etc. But in this case, we simply wanted to display individual values for each date. So we converted this into a text field. So that was the trick. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.